Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to mount the platform to the Jetson race car and test fit some components. Let's get started. This is the platform that we're going to mount on the car. It's made of 3 16th inch acrylic. There's a center line marked down the platform that was marked using a carpenter square. Then took the measurements of the car and put the mounting point lines on it, also using the carpenter square. Then using a caliper, I measured the distance between the mounting points on the brackets. It was 110 millimeters. Split that into half, so 55 millimeters. And from the center line of the platform, marked where the mounting points would be. Then take the car, turn it upside down, line up the holes and see if it fit. <laughs> so you can see the first time through, I missed it. So I had to redraw that. But now it looks like it fits and we're ready to drill. I'll put on my safety goggles and drill the four mounting points. So we'll put our mounting screws into the platform. On these body mounts, there are a couple of plastic tangs, which are used to locate spacers that are normally used when you use this to mount a body. In our application, we need to remove those. So I have a sharp wood chisel that we use just to remove it. There's four of them. Then the front four. You could probably do this with a file or some sandpaper also. You may recall from the previous video that we needed a spacer up front to level the platform front to rear. This is a 5 8 inch standoff. I'll mount that. One on each side. We should be ready to mount our platform. So let's have a go at putting the platform on. One down. Oh, we got lucky. It looks like it lines up. Two down. This is going to be a little bit harder. I have a captive nut going to mount underneath here. And number four. So I have to get some washers for the platform, but it seems pretty sturdy. I detached the platform from the car and started some layout of the first three components that we're going to mount. We're mounting PCA 9685 up front here. The Jetson will be here in the middle. Then we have a little platform to mount a LiPo battery to drive the electronic components. We'll be mounting a camera up here later. There's also another platform that mounts on top of that. We'll do that in a separate episode. So let me move these and let's get to drilling. Safety first. The battery mount, I'm just using a separate piece of acrylic. 
can just line this up towards the back. Then I'll drill through the battery mount and the platform at the same time, and that way these holes will line up. We're going to pass the servo and motor control up from the car, up through this platform. So we'll drill a hole to bring the servo leads in. Let's clean this off and mount our standoffs. The first thing we're going to do is take off the protective sheet off the acrylic. So that's the front. There's the back. And on the back, we'll put in some captive nuts. And give them a little tap to make sure that they're set. And put our standoffs in. Okay, now we're ready to mount our components. Let's put the platform back on the car. Now the Jetson. and the little battery platform. Now let's mount the battery mount. Our battery will go right here. Be able to plug it into the Jetson. The reason we put it on a platform is so that we can put straps around the battery. And now all we have to do is mount the PCA 9685. Okay, so there's our first issue in the build. PCA9685 does not have the same size mounting holes as our quarter inch standoff. So that seems like a good breaking point. <laughs> Figure out a workaround for that. As I noted earlier, we'll be running our servo and our ESC controls up through this hole we drilled in the platform. So in our next episode, we'll talk about mounting the second platform and we'll put in our antennas for our wireless. And we'll finish up some wiring.